Hello and welcome to my June TBR. <laughs> I'm just gonna get straight into it because I don't want to waste any time. So the first book is Unrivaled by Allison Newell. I got this book for free from school. I have no idea what it's about but it stood out to me and I found an audiobook version so I want to try that out because otherwise I probably won't read this. Great. I do really like the actual book. It's quite pretty. All white. So yeah, I'm gonna read this book this month. The second book I'm going to read is The Scorch Trials by James Dashner. So as you might see, there are already tabs in this book. That's because it's not mine. I borrowed it from a friend and I'm gonna add to these tabs probably because I know that this book is very very confusing. I read the first book, I gave it like a three. I'm not expecting much from this because I've seen the movie and I didn't understand anything but I want to read this and the death cure before actually seeing the death cure movie so wish me good luck it's it's the second book in a series i'm not going to explain what it's about the third book i'm going to read is an exciting one because i really like the series and i know that a lot of people don't but i do so what are you going to do about it but yeah <laughs> So the book is King's Cage by, I almost blanked on a name, oh. the book is King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. I love the Red Queen series, I gave the first book 5 stars, I gave the second book 4 stars, I'm expecting a lot out of this book. I have really enjoyed the last two books and I'm excited to add this to my red shelf which I have over here because you can see the other two books right here. Uh, right here. It's gonna be nice with this one with those. The next book I plan to read which I've said a couple of times is Emma by Jane Austen. It's a it's quite a short book, so I feel like I can read it, but I don't know if I'll read it or listen to it. That's a question. I know it's about a girl that sets up couples, so she's like a matchmaker-ish. Um, more than that, I don't know. It's a classic, kind of. Jane Austen is a classic. Um, so yeah, I hope to read this book. The next book I'm kind of afraid to read because of the hype behind this book but I'm gonna try it because I have a copy of it so the book I'm talking about is Never Night by J. Kristoff. This is kind of a daunting book to read as some people absolutely love it, and they swear by it, so I'm not sure what I'll think. I know it's about an assassin that kind of um, retells their stories of being an assassin. I don't know what's, what it's about really, but I feel like reading it because I have it in my hands. The next book is My Lady Jane by, there's three names on this, I guess I'll just be at the month. So the book is My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, Jody Meadows. I know it's about one of the James, it's not Jane Eyre because that's the next book I believe. But I've heard good things about this book so I picked it up and I want to read it. Because it feels like a summer read, kind of. And the second book's book comes out soon. So, 
I want to get a start in this one. The next one is a book that I've already started, but I haven't finished it yet because I put it down. Because I didn't feel like reading it at the moment when I was, was reading it. And I picked up another book then. So, the book is Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings. I am about... Let's see. I'm 114 pages into this book. I feel like everyone knows what this is about because everyone hates it. So, I'm hoping I won't because I like reading books and I don't want to make waste money. I'm realizing that I have a lot of books on this year. I don't know why, but here's the next one. Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I just thought that the title was intriguing, so I picked it up. I think it's about vampires, but I'm not sure, because Holly Black usually does fairy stuff, I believe. I have no clue what this is about, but I'm gonna read it. Finally, the last book. The Wrath and Dawn by Renee Adier, and I think it's really cool. <laughs> I'm just a, a weirdo. Like, cover? Boom. 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 So this is about a kingdom where the prince, or the king, one of them, I think it's the prince, takes a new bride each night and they end up dead. Hence the story as our protagonist is to become one of his, his brides. And we get to see what happens. I hope you enjoyed this. And please let me know if you've read any of the books I plan to read. I hope you have a good day. Bye.